Todd for operating those cameras, Lynn for operating that guitar, and also having that beautiful voice that we hear every time we celebrate. It certainly is wonderful having them as part of the team. We are celebrating the Feast of the Trinity today, so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you, and, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to the people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in mystery, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along two stone tablets. And having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord. A merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. And then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Glory and praise forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and grace forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and grace forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, 
praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory, Glory and praise forever. A reading from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways, encourage one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Successful. 
His adopting parents always told him that he was a very special person. And how special? He was so special because when they went to choose a child to adopt, they could have chosen any one of a number of children, but they chose Steve. And they kept telling him, we chose you out of all those children that were there. You are special. And as a result, Steve Jobs says that that's why, you know, he became the person that he is. We can think of our Lord, and we can think of God, because it's the same thing with us. You know, we are God's children. You know, we are his adopted children, our adopted sons and daughters. And that means a lot. It means that we should never get down on ourselves. To the, and no matter how much pain, no matter how much sorrow there is in our lives, we know that God loves us as an adopting parent. You know, and that he wants us to succeed and he wants us to do well. A second thing that St. Paul would dwell on, and this is where his thought pattern grew, he would begin to see that you couldn't just be a good Jew and that that was it as far as being a Christian was concerned. You know, that you had to grow into a new faith. You know, in other words, you had to break out of that fishbowl <clears throat> that, fish that you were living in and become a totally new person, become a Christian. And that was one of the things that Paul would develop and one of the things that he would grow in and one of the things that he would preach that you had to get beyond the Jewish faith and truly become a Christian. And we can think of how, you know, we are challenged often to break out of our fish holes, you know, and to become a new person, you know, a new Christian, so to speak. Uh, a lot of times, unfortunately, we don't do that. We're like the caterpillar that crawls on the ground, looks up, sees a butterfly, and says, you would never get me up in one of those things. And at the same time, you know, Christ has given us and would give us more than we can ever imagine. He would have us break out of our prisons. He would have us break out of our cocoons. And he would have us fly. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen.
God, the Almighty Father, and the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in the Trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too, and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Spirit, 
And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Donald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope <clears throat> and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Christ kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with everybody. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room and my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
sacrament of the Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal, holy trinity in undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.